I, uh, I, I had the pleasure of running into Danielle back in 2001, January 2001. I was retiring from the Marine Corps and I was in search of a machine. I did bush hogging on the side for, for 10 years. And I wanted something that could take out a little bit bigger tree because that's what the customer wanted. I went up to Columbia and I purchased equipment from Caterpillar up in Columbia. On my way back down, come through Ravenel, spotted a GT18 that they had there. Kind of went in there, job track was very small. They were new, they had five people that worked inside the company. And I walked in and I was very proud of what I bought, a skid steer with a, a Davco tree cutter because that was the best thing in the market at the time. And I walked in and I kind of said, this is what I just bought. I said, you have a small cutting head to go on this machine. And he took a look at that thing and he says, throw that thing in the trash. He said, we're designing something better. So I said, well, what, what, what could be better than this? So he says, it's not, it hasn't come out yet, but just, just kind of wait. So how, how this thing hit the market so fast is, is a customer that I was working for with my regular bush hog, my tractor broke and I told him, just wait, there's something better coming out. <laughs> and so he waited a month and the, the first head came out and Jock Shack brought it down to my house and we put it on the machine, went and tried it. I figured I'd go do that customer's job for him. And when I did the job, he waited so long, I figured I'd do a little bit more work for him. And I took down some trees and some stumps in the backyard. He came home, this was, this was I started at eight o'clock in the morning, I was done by lunchtime. He came home for lunch and he seen his whole property cleared. He started going around to the neighbors and started said, hey, who was here and cleared my property? And they said, I don't know, there was someone here. I had a little dump truck at the time, a little 450 dump truck. So they were here with dump trucks. At the same time, Caterpillar was bringing down a tiller that I had purchased for them. So they said, hey, they had trucks here, Caterpillar was here. They had all kinds of equipment here. And so he calls the county, he says, hey, somebody cleared my land by mistake. They took out trees, stumps, the whole works. So, you know, nobody could figure it out. So finally he, he gets a hold of some guy that, that he had originally hired to do the job and couldn't do it and called me. He says, hey, Wendell, do you know who could have possibly come cleared my land by mistake? Because that's Walter with his new machine. That's how it started off. I mean, that's how amazing this product was right from the beginning. And what I can say about Gyrotrack is it's the first one they ever made. And we had some problems with the first one we ever made. It was the very next day I hit an idle wheel from a dozer. A Saturday, I called them up. They showed up at the shop. They fixed the machine and we were back in business. Right after that, we had some problems with the drums cracking. Danielle said, he made the drum better and he says, take it out there. And he says, this is his exact words. He says, I want you to destroy the drum. I was like, what? He says, yeah. He says, I want to make this product bamboo proof. I want to be able, any, any bamboo can get in this machine and run it. And that's the, that's the journey it's been the whole 16 years I've been working with Danielle. He's always constantly trying to improve. And when the bad economy, when the bad economy went down, everybody got hurt. And, I, and it's been a while since I was up at Jowl Track. And at the time, we had 13 machines when the, the economy crashed. And we went down, we went way down, the six machines, and that's where we sit right now. But, and I hadn't gone up to Jow Track in a little bit, and I went up there one day, and I seen Danielle, and I seen him in coveralls, and he's pouring sweat working in the machine. And uh, I was like, I mean, he looked pretty bad. He was looking, you know, it was a real hot day. I'm like, what are you doing? And he was designing some future, some future things. In the process of designing that, he recognized because he got caught up like anybody else in business that starts off, you get, even myself now, it's been a while since I've been in a machine. You get caught up in the business side of the house and you lose track of, of what's happening down in the lower levels. Well, he recognized that there's many things that's not maintenance friendly in his machines that he wanted to change. And, and he asked me to join him and help him on a project down in Florida and I did. And in that process, together, he says, I'm going to make a machine that's maintenance friendly and easy to work on. And at the same time, I feel the frustration of the customer not be able to fix something on the spot to get the machine back up and running. So that's been his goal for the last five or six years, and he's done it. On these machines that you see back here, these machines, they open up, they're maintenance friendly. They're not wiring nightmares. They're not hard to work on, and they're easy to get parts for. And that, that's what I can speak on behalf of, uh, of Jowl Track. He's constantly trying to improve things, make things better for the customer. And what he's trying to do, I, I truly believe in, because we all experience the same thing. We buy a machine that has five-year warranty on it, but the machine sits out of place for a month or two months while they're waiting to work. That doesn't help you out while that happens. Jowl Track, you can call anytime, and, and they'll work with you one-on-one, -on -one, where some of these big places, you can't get a hold of the factory you know, it's very hard to get a hold of factory. All you can do is they tell you to deal with the person you bought the machine from. 
That's not the case with Gyrotrack. I could talk on and on because there's 16 years of history here, but that's what I can tell you my experience with, with Gyrotrack. It's been a long experience, it's been a great experience, and I am where I am because of Gyrotrack. You know, I have, my company's a pretty good company right now.